Welcome to Watch of the Week here on K-Spec. This is a series of brief reviews and previews of recently introduced timepieces. It's not a commercial, so you will hear my unfiltered reaction, my unfiltered opinion. And our guest in this week is... News from Baltic. Another diver is announced. After successful chronographs and dive watches, they want to produce now a new version of the Aquascarf. And again, the inspiration follows iconic watch designs from the 50s, 60s, 70s. Before we discuss the main features, let's go over the basics. Stainless steel dive watch, bidirectional internal bezel, so you cannot move the thing around from outside. Diameter is 39 mm, length is 47, thickness 12 and the lug width is convenient 20. We have a sapphire crystal, a screw down crown and a water resistance of 200 meters. And inside is the well-known automatic Miota 9039. The watch comes with two different dial colors, blue, black and the black dial is also available in combination with a black PVD case. All watches on a rubber strap. The pre-order price is 550 euros, VAT excluded, and then retail price in September is 650 euros, also VAT excluded. Yes, and now we are in the world of the famous explorers underwater, like Jacques-Yves Cousteau, with their visions, dreams, ambitions to go deeper to enlighten the darkest areas of the planet. There is a certain fascination in vintage-inspired dive watches beyond the specs and Baltic knows how to play with that. Of course, a real diver will use a little computer nowadays and he or she will leave this watch to people who just want to wear something beautiful. And I must say, this watch is a beauty. Very clean design with strong decisions. Note the massive indices and hands and the symmetric layout of the watch. Reduced wording on the dial, Baltic, Aquascarf, dual crown, that's it. Nothing more. This is pretty bold, I think, and this shows some confidence. But despite this pure approach, they've treated the details with some care. Those are computer-generated images here, I guess, so we cannot say much about the manufacturing quality. But there are some good elements. Wonderful blue in combination with the sunburst effect and this gentle curve around the dial. At least it looks like a curve. And the case is brushed in an interesting way. Kind of rotation there. Look at this. Interesting. And of course the two crowns which give the watch an extra appeal. By the way, some people see two crowns and think super compressor. This is a somewhat famous term coined in the 60s. It means basically that water pressure is used to seal a watch case. Imagine a metal plate on rubber, pressure from above, and then the metal is pressed against the rubber. And you see this super compressor indication quite often on vintage dive watches. And it happened to be now that you see it also often on watches with two crowns. But those are different systems without a direct connection. One crown for the watch movement, one for the internal bezel, but no crown for the super compressor. Why now an internal bezel? I think the idea was around safety. The system prevents that you manipulate the bezel underwater unwillingly. And it's sort of a tradition for those models that the crowns are unbranded, but with this sort of diamond pattern on it. And my personal favorite here is the blue dial with a non-PVD case. Just a gorgeous color and I love to combine it with other straps. In my eyes the measurements are perfect. 39 millimeters is just sweet. 20 lug width, very convenient. And the 12 millimeter thickness allow also a NATO strap. The only thing I don't like actually is this, this tornado-like brushing on top of the case. Um, I know it's cruel because they probably thought that this would look gorgeous. But in my humble opinion, it looks somewhat special, yes, but mm, I don't know. And they could try to find a better movement than the Miota now. Baltic isn't super small anymore. I think now really is the time for a Silita or an ETA. And by the way, a viewer from Los Angeles wrote me an email and asked if I have information about the business policy of ETA. Do they sell movements to small manufacturers or not? According to my observations and experience, they do, but it's expensive and will blow up the calculation. And I could imagine that prices depend on size of the watch edition. When you see a typical microbrand edition, for example, of let's say 300 pieces, then the size of the order is very small and it's not very attractive for a big company like ETA. When to so, on the other hand, orders movements from ETA, 
they can buy not uh, 300, they buy 30,000 or so. And so I think this is the problem. If somebody places a small order, he got to pay for this. So ETA only for brands which can convince their followers to pay an extra. Back to the Baltic, you can pre-order the watch until May the 4th at 4 p.m. An estimated date of delivery is September 2021. And I'm very curious, can the watch compete with this with these product images here. Let's find out then in September. Okay, that's all for now. See you next Monday to Watch of the Week here on Caseback.